So Ryan, you've agreed a deal with the Dons for the 2019 campaign. How, how pleased are you with that? Very pleased, mate. Very pleased. Just grateful for the opportunity that they're giving me to have a, have a few run out of them this season. Yeah, you've obviously been on trial for a, a good few weeks now. How have you found yeah. that? Oh, brilliant. The, the training, the gym work. Uh, not really used to the gym work, but <laughs> it's going on right, yeah. So. We've got quite a close-knit group as well. Has it, has it been easy to settle into? Yeah, the boys have welcomed me in. Sam, to be fair, there's a, there's a few what are a bit standoffish, but I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll pull their arms around and they'll be all right with this year. And obviously, for, for people who won't know your story and background in rugby league, you, you come from, from Tallbar, but before that, how, how have you sort of got into to rugby league? Well, I'm from Bradford. I started off um, just playing at Victoria Rangers, local club around there, and ended up at Bulls, but I drifted away from the game for a, a fair few years and then moved to uh, Doncaster with my wife. And, Come down to Tullabar to local rugby club and yeah, here we are. From the from the coaches tats and uh, Craig getting his on at Don's. Um, yeah. And obviously but it shows that however many setbacks you have, if you keep working hard and keep applying yourself right, oh, then opportunities. Definitely, it's like everything in life is that like, it? If, if you work hard enough at stuff, the opportunities mm. will come your way. And I'm going to grab this one with both hands and, and see what we can do with it. And obviously the chats you've had with, with Carl and Richard, what are they expecting from you this season? Just to just give everything? Just, yeah, just to, just to play our being playing in the wall games. I mean, if, if we can just improve on the games that we've had already, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to do it doing all right. Obviously, the more gym work and the, the more fitness work you do as well, do you feel yourself getting fitter yeah, and stronger each week? I've noticed an improvement in my strength already. Like I said, I've never been really a gym person. <laughs> I've not done too bad with road running or whatever, but never really been a gym person. And, and doing the gym work on the Dons already has, has made a big improvement. So all year, I'm just going to improve and improve. Obviously, you've gone from the amateur game, you've come up against two Super League teams already in pre season. You've got another Super League team coming down to the chemo this weekend. Is it sort of from one end of the spectrum to the other? Oh, definitely. I mean, well, I didn't feel too bad. I were in, were in at work on uh, Monday, <laughs> I didn't feel too bad. But this Monday, I felt like a bloody, bloody crack. <laughs> it, were, uh, it were a totally different game, I thought myself. But nah, it's just if playing against these boys who, who do it for a living, I mean, if you. If you're standing out in games like this and playing all right in games like that, I mean, mm. I'm looking forward to the season on people who are working all week like we are as well. And less than a month ago until that league season starts, how important could the, the final pre-season game this week, do you think, just oh, to gain a bit of momentum? Yeah, there's, there's a lot that we can take into this game from uh, from the last couple of weeks and, and myself getting signed now, it's, uh, it's just given me another big push to, uh, to do the best I can.